Look at that, this shrew started having babies right on camera. When I checked this live catch mouse trap this morning, I saw we caught this small fluffy animal, but it's not a mouse. What we caught is known as a shrew. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna take a close look at this fascinating creature. The general appearance of a shrew is described as a long-nosed mouse, but they are not rodents and are actually more closely related to moles and hedgehogs, and with this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the family resemblance. The shrew family is extremely diverse with over 385 known species and likely has the largest population of any mammal family with an estimated 100 billion shrews in the world. Shrews are extremely active animals with a voracious appetite and a high metabolic rate, causing them to need to eat almost constantly. They generally have poor vision but have an excellent sense of hearing and smell, which they use to hunt their prey such as insects and worms. An extremely unique feature of many shrew species is they have venom on their teeth, which they use to kill prey. Female shrews have up to 10 litters a year, and much to my surprise, this shrew started having babies while I was filming this video. Their gestation period is between 17 and 32 days, and females can become pregnant within days of giving birth. I wanted to make sure these baby shrews survive, so I provided nesting material and let the mom take care of the babies in private. Well, given this extremely unique experience of the shrew having babies right on camera, I was just gonna let her go out in the wild, but I can't do that with the newborns or they will die. So instead, for a few days, I made her a shrew habitat here in a 20 gallon fish tank. I laid down moss, made a nest out of grass, and also some bark for them to hide in, and I'm gonna feed her. She eats over her body weight every day in food. I've used up all my crickets from the pet store, so I'm flipping over rocks looking for bugs and especially worms. Shrews love worms. So we're gonna feed the mama and check in on the babies. While this mama shrew enjoys the worms, we're gonna lift up the bark and show you the nest with the babies inside. So the shrew ended up having five babies, which are also known as shrewlets. That's a great trivia question to know. These shrewlets are born hairless and blind, but they grow very rapidly. Well, it's been a few days. The shrews are doing well in the nest in there. I don't wanna lift it up too much and expose them. The mother is constantly hungry. When I lift up the lid, she comes over to get some food. She wants the worms and the bugs, but shrews don't make good pets. They're still aggressive and can bite, but she wants that food right there. You can see her coming up. I don't want these babies to grow up inside a cage. I want them to grow up in the wild. So I'm gonna move the whole nest with the mother and babies out to a shed and hopefully they'll do fine in there. They'll grow up on their own and live a nice life. Make sure the mother knows where the nest is. There, she'll go inside with her babies. Now I checked back in on the nest a week later and the babies had grown quite a bit. So I hope they live a long life out in the wild. I don't consider shrews to be a pest like rodents are and I'm thankful they're around to help keep the insect population under control. Now shrews are tiny, but they're not the world's smallest mammal. That title goes to the bumblebee bat, but they have to be close. I hope you enjoyed learning more about this fascinating creature, the shrew. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mouse Trap, and I consider it to be the greatest mouse trap ever made.